All right, it's 10 minutes after 7 o'clock right now, and we are checking in with Ryan PC Trimble for a look at what is uh, trending this morning. So good morning. Good morning, and good morning to you guys. So the biggest week of the year for video games fans uh, and video game makers kicks off today. And now I'm talking about the Electronic Entertainment Expo, also known as E3, which Kim was saying she knows nothing about. So <laughs> listen up, and we will learn you some stuff. A few groups showed some of their upcoming titles actually yesterday, which was a day early. And among the best were Sony's exclusive game, uh, No Man's Sky, which is this really cool, super ambitious game where basically it kind of creates a brand new game every single time you play. Oh. And there's like uh, an infinite amount of worlds and characters and stuff that you can create. So it's is really this cool. what it looks like? No, this oh. is um, what I, I was going to say. No, it looks no, no, like no. <laughs> we're watching a movie. No, well, um, they, a lot. What they do a lot of times is they premiere. Um, that was a clip from Halo. A lot of times they make little movies, promotional movies for the game. I've games seen that, okay. Now that I know what, and I know what Xbox games yeah, are. Yeah, that aren't actually gameplay. But there was one game uh, called uh, Rainbow Six Siege that actually uh, used some actual gameplay from the game, which was rare because, like I said, usually they make just little like movie trailers for them. Um, and that game is really cool, too. It's a sort of team game where you, you play with other people to rescue yeah. people in a suburban environment. Um, now, other new titles were announced, including best-selling, including new titles in the best-selling series, Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, and Mass Effect. And notably absent was actually Nintendo, who hmm. will be showing off their new titles today at noon. Oh, they wanted to be alone Yes, they wanted to be, Nintendo, debut. of course, wanted Smart. to be on the, yeah. Have the head on to themselves. Yes, exactly. Now, I just really quickly want to give a shout out to our floor guy, Scott Pachillis, who <laughs> informed me of all this stuff. every single minute of it. Now, he doesn't want to come on camera, but I drew this picture of him. <laughs> uh, oh, there he is. Oh, there's your backside. There he oh, is. Oh, there you are, Scott. <laughs> you didn't know they were doing Scott. that. Scott. <laughs> well, here's the picture, um, in case you want to know what he kind of looks like. That's Scott. He's a great dude. You might know him from the famous uh, Fox bump shot later in the show. It's coming up. It's a <laughs> if staple. he doesn't hide for it from it now. <laughs> if he doesn't leave the state after this. No, I'm, I'm glad, though, because he really kind of is so into it that he helped me. I didn't really understand all of it, but now I know what to look for, what, what Hunter wants to buy yeah. for his next game. Scott was telling me he watched 10 hours of, of conference yesterday. Yes, proudly, and good for you, man, because... It's only the first day. It's only the first day, so you've got... <laughs> What, hundreds of hours more, so look forward to that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it has been a few weeks since we talked about Old Man Racist. I'm talking about Donald Sterling, of course. Uh, so, but somehow we just won't go away. We have another story about him today. I'm very sorry that I have to tell you. Sterling's attorney says the Los Angeles Clippers owner uh, pulled his support from a deal to sell the team to the former Microsoft CEO, Steve Ballmer. He's going to pursue his $1 billion federal lawsuit against the NBA instead. Hmm. Now, Bonner, jump in if I'm saying any of this wrong, but the $2 billion sale was negotiated by his wife, Shelly, uh, after, of course, his uh, very racist comments to one of his former girlfriends were published and the NBA moved to get him out as the owner. Uh, the lawsuit alleges the league violated his constitutional rights, antitrust laws, and committed a beach, breach of contract. Now, Don Sterling agreed to ink that deal and then dropped the suit last week, but yesterday he changed his mind uh, because he learned that the NBA won't revoke its lifetime ban and fine on him. So he's kind of throwing a hissy fit, is what mm. I feel like he's doing here. Yep. When the, well, I think, <laughs> I, I think when this all happened, and we kind of went back and forth, and I had said that this wasn't going to be an easy Absolutely not. sign it over, here's the team, yep. and give me the cash. It just wasn't going to happen that way. No. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't make his empire of cash because he's an idiot. Yeah. I mean, somewhere in his brain, there was a good business side. He's, he's obviously a very smart dude. And so, yeah, yeah he's, he's going to take the NBA to task, and this is going to be a good, what could be a very lengthy process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, we're going to keep hearing about him, yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, and I guarantee you, when, it, when everything, the checks are written and the contract's drawn, we are still going to hear his name because yeah. he's, he's notorious mm -hmm. for doing what he's doing. Is he really? He has gone to the table before trying to sell the Clippers, and it's, all right, Kim, I just need you to sign. And then, it's, you know what? Let me think about this a little bit more. Uh, and he pulls it off the table. Wow. I had no idea. Yep. Wow. Yeah, right. this, this is not the first time that he's done things like this. He's, I mean, he's got, he's got the army of, 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 of lawyers. He's got a stockpile of cash. He can fight these kind of fights, and that's what he's going to do. Ah, uh, well. I know I speak for a lot of people when I say that I'm done hearing about him personally. <laughs> yeah. One person I'm not done hearing from is Argana Medvik, who <laughs> is standing at the ready. And he has our last story, as usual, for us. What do you got, Gannon? Yeah, you know, we're going to finish up. Uh, we'll go from the NBA train wreck as it is there to uh, something that's cute. Uh, producer Big Steve suggesting this video <laughs> of little goats. Oh, I hope this isn't a train wreck. Big <laughs> Steve, little goats. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Not even a traffic jam. <laughs> I don't jet. want to see any goats crashing. And then they all get hit by a train. Got <laughs> the wrong way. No, they're flowing free. The this guy. is the... Oh, my God. This is kind of an event at Sunflower Farm. Not sure what state. Didn't get a locator, but it's Sunflower Farm. Looks like a happy place. And this is the running of the goats. 
<laughs> Look at That's it. amazing. That is super cute. And it looks so cute, Kim, and safer than the Spanish alternative, the running Absolutely. of the bulls. Nobody Definitely. getting gored uh, on, on that run. They're adorable. They're so excited. <laughs> I just want to know what they're running for. Like, is there food involved or they're just happy little guys? It looked like the, the girl ran out and they all just, like, followed her. Because then when look, she runs back, they Look follow. at those two. They're, like, stuck in last place. That would be place. me back in last place. I'll be like, I'm coming. I'll be there in a second, guys. Yeah. That is really cute. I love it. So, so, so there we go. We went from Donald Sterling to, you know, some fresh air and exercise. There we go. I love and that. And a video that got 1.2 million views on oh, YouTube wow. so That's far. Awesome. So, Good. At least a, that left them with a smile a on their face. A lot of people watching know? goats. <laughs> there are. That, 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 that was a hot topic in the get. comments section as well under that uh, YouTube video. That's cute. I love that. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. You bet. And uh, speaking of hot topics, forecast for today is going to be uh, filed under summertime, really dog days quality summertime, uh, something we could take out of July or August playbook next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, the official start of summer. But at 92, nonetheless, in the forecast panels for a forecast high for today, beach highs noted only marginally cooler than inland areas. So everybody feeling the three H's, haze, heat and humidity. And to that point, uh, we'll see the uh, heat index values swell up to around triple digits in a lot of cases this afternoon. Isolated showers and thunderstorms possibly popping on a hot day. And we'll show you some of the activity that we've had so far this morning, mainly north of the port city, up toward Moorhead City. An intense thunderstorm in progress, but its trajectory would take it off the coast as opposed to kind of backing down the coast. So overall, a pretty quiet morning. We're setting the table, though, for some isolated thunderstorms refiring in the afternoon on what's going to be a hot day. Please stay with us. It's 717. We're headed to break.